What's up, the little turbine come for sales. Vamos a ir. Porto Chica Líneas. So yes, we're going to head off to Porto Chica Líneas. Uh, we are leaving Maragogi. Okay, so it's a one hour and 30 minute drive over to Porto Chica Líneas. Uh, we'll be staying in the Posada there. So I'm going to take you guys on the road with me and we're going to head over to the Posada and we're going to check out Porto, dos G, Porto Chica Líneas. Vamos a ver. Let's see what's going on over there. Your time. Also brought some Sukuji Laranja. Takio. Also brought this little cheeky snack. I've been seeing a lot of these around this region of Brazil, all these little kind of snacks. Uh, I think it's Dolce Leche inside. It's got to be Dolce Leche. In the very good. And my Kashinha. Gotta try it, am I? It's quite strange. This is dry. Looks dry. Very dry. Looks dry. Kind of chalky. Very. It's hot. Yeah. That needs to go in the freezer a little bit longer. We've arrived in Porto G Galinhas and we've arrived in our Pusada. I'm gonna show you guys around our Pusada. Look, we bought Christmas decorations. It feels good to be here in this weather, drinking beer while it's Christmas, back at home and everyone's freezing cold. Sorry guys, but I'm thinking of my friends in England, my family struggling in the poor old cold of winter. Anyway, so the Pusada, very basic, but perfect for what we need. Here's like the front room. Got my laptop there. What's up? Uploading the YouTube video, of course. Um, yes. So I've got loads of YouTube videos to upload. So this will be probably, this video will be a little bit delayed from when I'm actually uh, here, but I probably won't be here when I upload this. Yes, we have the kitchen. Again, simple, very simple. Just a fridge, got the basics. Should we have a look in the fridge? That's all you need in the fridge, really. Coffee, a beer. Don't know why I got coffee in the fridge? I don't know. Um, a mango, some more beer, casual, Mantega. That's what you need. Okay, mice. I don't even know what this room is. Vita? Pizza? I don't know what this room is. Ow! So what else do we have? Yeah, a very small, small bathroom, by the way. Muito pouquinho. Yeah, it's not, it's not big. It's not a very big bathroom, so. But it will do the job. And then the wonderful bedroom. It's just basic, you know, it's just all you need. We spend most of the time out of the house anyway, so you don't really need like a lot of home comforts here. Outside the Pusada, you have a little sitting area and there's a pool over there as well, which you are welcome to go and swim in. And a little bit to chill down there as well. So yeah, the drive was, was easy going. The roads were all good. Nothing wrong with the roads at the moment, so it's a good little drive up from Madagogi to Porto de Galinhas. Now we're going to head over to the beach and probably find somewhere to just chill out, maybe go for another swim. Let's do it, let's, let's go explore Porto de Galinhas.
back na praia de novo. Na praia de novo. De novo. So, yes, we're walking along the uh, Porto da Galinhas beach. And as you can probably see already, it's a lot busier than it was in Madaguji. Um, this feels a lot more touristic. There's a lot more shops, a lot more places to eat, a lot more places to drink. There's just a lot more people in general. But it feels good to be back on the beach again after five hours away. So yeah, we're gonna go to a, a place, somewhere to get a drink. Um, it's very common around here that you have to, basically you have to like pay out for a table, pay, like charge it, say, if you want to sit on a table, you have to spend a minimum of like 100 hay eyes and 50 hay eyes. So we've been advised against that. Um, to just basically find somewhere that actually has good food and is gonna charge you not so much, or kind of like 50 hay eyes. Um, and you're actually gonna get good food and good drink. So yeah. We know I to go to one place, so we're going to go there and check it out. We we'll did to coffee. How are we going to say a video? <laughs> I'm addicted to coffee. So I bought a um, coffee based drink. It's like a, a sweet liquor underneath, and then it has an espresso on top. I brought this because I haven't had coffee all day today, and basically, I've been drinking a lot of coffee in Brazil, of course and I needed some coffee. So I decided to combine an alcoholic drink with a coffee to, in order to, uh, to complete my needs, basically. But it's, I think it needs like a good old mix. Yeah, it's quite strong, that. We're gonna try some food out. I don't really know what type of food is typical in northeast Brazil so people should put in the comments and let me know what kind of food is typical. Hopefully I'll find out by myself and find something to eat that's you know a regional dish. We'll we'll see. We'll see what we end up eating today. It's probably gonna be some more seafood. What should you call it? Pes pescas? No, little pesca kuma. So we just left the bar, had a few drinks there and now we're gonna find somewhere to eat. Uh, we looked on Google for a few recommended places and we're basically one of the best places here is like seafood. This kind of makes sense because, you know, seafood is very popular here. So we're going to try that. So I have my octopus. Uh, of I'm going to try it. It's very, very hot. Muito bom. Muito, muito bom. Very good. These little chilies there are the best thing that I find in Brazil in terms of chilies. I don't know the exact name for them, but if anyone can tell me in the comments, I want to know the name of these. They're so good. I stole that for you. Let's try this next dish. The waist neck. It's very good. Very good. Never had this before. It's very good. In a lobster. Very good. Incredible. Extremely good. Yeah, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Very impressed. Muito, 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 muito cansado agora. It's been a very long day. As you know, we drove from Maragogi to Porto Chuchi Galinhas after waking up at 5 a.m. So yeah, it's now 8 p.m. and I'm feeling like I'm ready to sleep. It's been a very long day and a very, um, it feels like I've done a lot of things today. It feels like I've achieved a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very excited for these next few days. Um, very happy to be still by the beach. I'm really enjoying this part of Brazil. Um, it's amazing. There's so many things I do here. The sceneries are beautiful. Um, yeah, and just really loving the vibe of the place, to be honest, like, 
I just feel good. I feel good here. So yeah, I'm excited for these next few days. And tomorrow we're gonna go on some more adventures. So make sure to check out my next video because there's gonna be some more adventures around Porto G Galinhas and yeah, just a lot more exploring from me. Um, so make sure to check that out. Obviously coming to Porto G Galinhas and seeing what it's all about is definitely a lot more touristy, as I said before. Um, there's a lot more restaurants to go to, um, which is nice. And yeah, just to kind of a bit more structured than there is in Madaguji. Don't get me wrong, I actually really liked Madaguji. Like, I like the freestyle, the kind of laid back culture there. Um, here definitely feels a bit more touristy, which I don't mind at all, but Madaguji was cool. The restaurant we went to, Bahaka, was very good. We found that recommendation on Google. We just searched on Google, like, um, recommended restaurants to go to in Porto G Galinhas, and that was one of the ones that came up, and yeah, it was super cool. What I like around here, like compared to cities and stuff, is that when you go to like a restaurant that sells really good food, it's always quite formal in like big cities. Whereas here, like you can just go like in whatever you're wearing, your shorts, your swimwear, your Havianas, um, and not have to worry about how you're dressed. It's just kind of nice and you still have like very good food. So yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. That's it for today, guys. I'm ready to sleep. <laughs> 8 p.m. and I'm ready to sleep. I never thought I'd say that. Um, so yeah, check out my next video. If you haven't seen my previous video, go check that out. It's where we were quad biking and in the coral reefs of Madaguji. So make sure you check that out if you haven't seen it yet. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Sans Gravy no account. E me on Instagram. Palikom Jake. That one like you, of course. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Ati mais, ati logo. Ciao.